Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Cook Like a Japanese channel. I'm Ryo. Today we are making similar chicken drumming with star anise. I believe I introduced you several chicken drumming recipes before, but today's one is so special because of this star shaped unique herb called star anise. You know, to make it is super easy and the taste will be super yummy. I hope you like this special flavor this time. Alright, let's get started! Yeah, the ingredients for shima chicken drumhead with star anise are only four. Number one is five to six pieces of chicken drumhead. Number two is one star anise. Number three is a half stalk of Japanese green onion. Number four is a bit of sliced ginger. Plus, for seasoning, you need 100cc of sake, soy sauce 2 tablespoons, and sugar 2 tablespoons. Now we got three steps to make shimmered chicken drumhead with star anise. Step number one is to cut the green onion into a rather big pieces, like one inch long for each or something like that. Plus you need to prepare shredded one as well. Use the white part of onion for the shredded one. We are supposed to use it for garnish. Plus just slice the ginger at that time as well. Step number two is to shimmer the chicken. In a saucepan or flying pan, put the chicken drumhead, star anise, cut green onion, and cut ginger, I mean everything beside the shredded onion. Pour the seasoning, I mean sake, 100cc, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce and 2 tablespoons of sugar. Then pour in just enough water to cover all the ingredients. Give it to a boil and when it get boiled, turn down heat into low. Put the lid on and shimmer it for about 30 minutes till it get nice and soft. The broth is supposed to be half dead when you finish shimmering. So if you get more broth than half after 30 minutes, then just shimmer it on for another few more minutes. Step number three is to plate it and put shredded green onion as a garnish. That's it, sounds easy doesn't it? Alright, why don't we go on to step one? Alright, why don't we go on to step one? Step one is to cut the ingredients. Start up with the green onion, about one inch long. Right. And plus prepare the shredded one with the white part. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, we are supposed to use the uh, shredded one for garnish. Plus, you need to slice the uh, ginger. Okay, it's the end of step one. Why don't we go on to step two? Alright, why don't we go on to step two? Step two is to shimmer the ingredients. In a saucepan or flying pan like this, put everything beside the shredded green onion. Green onion, star anise, and of course, sliced ginger as well. And here for the broth, a hundred cc of sake. Hundred cc of sake with two tablespoons of soy sauce. Yeah, two tablespoons of soy sauce. One, two. Plus two tablespoons of sugar. Yeah, it's one tablespoon plus, and this will be like two tablespoons. And pour in just enough water to cover all the ingredients. Yeah, it looks nice. So why don't you heat the stove? All right, now the broth get boiled. So why don't you turn the heat into low? Put the lid on and shimmer it for. 30 minutes. Right. Alright, now 30 minutes has passed, so let's see what happened to it. Yeah, it looks nice. Looks nice, but it's not finished yet, I guess. So, why don't you pull off the lid and turn the heat a bit higher, medium low or something, and we to simmer for another 4 to 5 minutes. Right now another 6 minutes has passed. I guess it's good. I guess it looks good. So why don't we play it? Okay. So we the drum it. One, two, three. With the uh, green onion stuff and ginger. Yeah. I'm gonna save for the refill. Okay. Yeah. 
yeah it looks nice uh, the shimmered chicken drumhead with star anise is ready to go all right now you know how to make shimmered chicken drumhead with star anise it's quite easy doesn't it so why don't you give it a try at your home anyway if you like this video hit the thumbs up button leave some message down below and subscribe Alright, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take good care. Arigato. Bye.